guys, this is Maria from Sucrafty Studio. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to make frosting for decorate your miniature food charms like this cake or these two cupcakes. Uh, as you can see, I can achieve a lot of texture in my frosting. So uh, this is going to be a very easy project and I hope you enjoy it. You're going to need, of course, a piece of clay. Uh, it has to be already conditioned and it can be any clay, any color, any brand you want. Also, you're going to need a translucent liquid Sculpey, uh, which is basically liquid clay. You can use any other brand that you like, but I really recommend working with this one. And also you're going to need a mixing tool I use this one that I bought in Michael's. This is a Sculpey tool, and I really like using this number two or medium size bowl tool for mixing. And last, you're going to need a container where you can save all your frostings, all your mixes. As you can see, I have my strawberry, chocolate, uh, vanilla. This is actually melted cheese. Uh, mix in this is um, maybe grape and a blue one that I made just yesterday and today I'm going to show you how to make a green one so the first thing that you need to do is open your container and add small pieces of clay into it Once you have all the clay into the container, you're going to add uh, the translucent liquid scalp, your TLS. Uh, remember, this is a very thick liquid. So you will probably want to add just a big drop. Like this. Okay. If you want to make easier the mixing process, you can let it sit for a few minutes. You can close it and let it sit, but um, it's not a big deal if you start working with it. Okay guys, as you can see, I've already mixed the two products and this is actually the final result. I really, really like thick frosting um, and that's why I'm going to share with you my tip number one, which is if you want a thicker mixing, let's set uh, the Sculpey, the liquid Sculpey for a few days without a cap. Leave the container open and it's going to dry a little bit, it's going to get thicker, so you can have this kind of texture when you mix it for frosting. Uh, my tip number two is about uh, softening the clay because sometimes it's really hard to mix, um, especially when the clay is not really soft or well conditioned. So you can add a couple of drops or of um, clay softener, or maybe if you don't have it, you can use uh, baby oil, which is actually the product that I use to soften my clay right now, and it works perfectly. It doesn't have to be a specific brand. I found this in a jeweler store, and it works perfect for me. Uh, you can add maybe one or two drops, and it's going to be soft really, really quick. Uh, my third tip is that sometimes, especially with softer colors like this blue or maybe um, the pink one, is that you're going to need to accent the color because the translucent uh, liquid Sculpey is uh, white, which uh, softens 
a little bit the, the color of the clay. So if you want to be a dark, if you want to have a darker mix, you can add um, a little bit of chalk pastels. You can scratch just a bit into your mix and then start mixing all over again. And you will see how the color will accent really, really quick. Um, and last but not least, I want to give you a final tip, which is the container that you're going to use to keep your frosting storage. And it's that it's really important to, to, to have one of these with secure caps, because if you leave this open, it will dry and it, you will lose it. So uh, I found this in Michael's, really, really cheap. And it's great because I can have lots of colors in just one container. And you know, if you're working with a mix a few days later and you see it's thicker than you like it to be, you know, just add a couple of drops of baby oil and everything will be perfect. So that's it. This is how I make my frosting. I hope you all enjoyed my videos. Um, please subscribe because I promise I'm going to add more videos and more tutorials and more tips for you guys. Um, I promise I'll be better next time. This is my first video, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much. I would really appreciate the feedback and subscribe. Thank you, bye-bye.